There was a story where there was a certain teacher. She decided to have a fair, have all the kids from the school come to have from the fair that she had uh, different tables with different things and the different tables for the kids to have. And the first table had on it a plate of apples and next to the plate of apples it said, God is watching, take only one apple. And after this boy went seeing it, that the apples had pretty much a lot of apples left there, the boy decided to continue to the next table where they had their plate of cookies, chocolate chip cookies. And, but the chocolate chip cookies were almost finished. And there was a little note next to the chocolate chip cookies that said, written by another one of the classmates, take as many chocolate chip cookies as you want because God is looking at the apples. He's not looking at the cookies. Now, what this means to me is that a lot of times we think that people are not able to notice things about us. They're not able to notice our, what we're feeling inside when we're talking to them. We think that we say whatever we want to say and that what people get is the what. The what that we're saying, but that's not true. People only get a very small amount of the what that we're saying, but they get much more out of the how that we say it. Now, this is true because, you see, there's something called in social skills and people skills, energy. You have positive energy when you come to a social setting. How do you come across to the people that you're involved with? Are you coming with a positive vibe? Now, not everybody knows how to get this positive vibe, and we're gonna talk about that, but that's a very important thing to learn because if you have the positive vibe, then people will think of you, whatever you say, in a much better frame of mind. You see, if you come into a social setting with a negative vibe, it's like you have on your shirt, you're wearing an undershirt, a t-shirt that says on it, I'm not in a good mood today. Don't mess with me. I'm not approachable. Don't come to me. Don't speak to me. Some people want to know, how come nobody's talking to me? How come people don't come and say hello? Well, are you giving off a positive energy? That positive energy is dependent on a few different things. And one of the things it's dependent on is, of course, a smile that you're going to have to make and, and greet people and be cordi cordial and things like that. But are you coming with your inside? Are you feeling inside? Positive vibe. Are you feeling inside that you have God on your side? Are you feeling inside that God loves you? Are you feeling inside that the best day is today? And that no matter what happened before, I have a whole future ahead of me. I have so many people's lives I can change, I can influence. Because when you come in with that power, when you come in with that positive vibe, you're unstoppable. And people feel it on you. They see it on your face. They see it on your body, on the way that you stand. And it's only up to you to decide what type of nonverbal message you're going to give. Because, you know, you're giving nonverbal message 24-7. Those nonverbal messages can either be helping you, saying about you positive things, or they could be hurting you. They could be saying about you that you're not in a good mood. You're a person who's a mess. You're a person who has a lot of troubles. So you have to decide how you want to feel inside about yourself. Do you want to feel about yourself that you're a hero? Do you want to feel in yourself that you're a zero? But it's only up to you to decide that decision. When you have the positive vibe inside you, so then, that energy spreads through the room. Come to a situation you could think about, am I here to take? Am I here to take from people attention, affection, appreciation? Do I cling on to people for advice? Or are you a person who's coming to give advice and love and compassion? But it's only up to you to decide. And it depends on your smile. It depends on your way that you come and you greet people. Make a positive decision in your mind before you get to any place that you're coming to. You come home, make it easy for your spouse to love you. Make it easy for your kids to come and hug you. It's only up to you to decide those decisions. And don't ever forget that it's not about what you say that matters because only 7%, according to social scientists, they say only 7% of the communication that goes across is what you say. But 50% is that energy that you're giving off, the way that you come across to people. So don't ever underestimate that because that's going to be 
the real, real difference of if you're going to be a social king or not.